Face of the spine. At the point of the bandaged Maya's right knee. <laughs> Wes tries the same, but uh, he missed it by about a foot, I think. <laughs> Doesn't like the look of that one at all. <laughs> one minute to go, and still the full interlock, figure interlock. My eyes need bandage at the moment slightly, but I never know. My quest just to come out of this. No, not now. There's the double armor again by my eyes, and he could go to another suplex. Single arm throw. Nice arm roll, but through the ropes goes West feet, so Myers breaks immediately. Side head chance with half a minute left. Turning the head and the straight fingers of West not making the slightest impression on the Maya's stomach at all. So there he is, Mick West. And was I wrong when I said he hadn't got too many tattoos on his back? <laughs> Masses of them, almost as many as on front. All over his. Uh, body above the waist and a few on his uh, thighs as well. Mick West of Chatham at 12 stone 4. We first saw him in uh, May of uh, last year. A couple of years amateur at the Chatham Amateur Wrestling Club, turning part-time pro only about a year and a half ago. Round 3. Round three, and here at the Woodville Halls, Gravesend, a catchweight bout, a preliminary contest in the program this afternoon, Clive Myers of Jamaica in the, <laughs> the very patriotic uh, trunks there. Mick West of Chatham, his opponent. One fall to save this, four rounds to go. Myers missed time at that time. Very seldom you see him. This time it is bad as that. West has a chance now. First chance he's really had in these early rounds. What well, Maya's still grinning about that mistake. He's lately this time. That is amazing. <laughs> the head first right over, and I, I hope nobody's hurt there because Myers came over the top rope, but head first in the third row of the ringside seats there. I don't know how badly uh, the damage he's caused, but there's somebody down there, I'm afraid, is really... Uh, I don't think it's an old man. I'm afraid he's in trouble there. Oh, what a, what a pity. But there's... Uh, St. John's Ambulance or Red Cross or both there looking after him to let you know how it happens. Anyway, Myers looking over there to see what damage he's done. He obviously tried to catch the top rope as he went and missed it and went right over to the third row. Myers now with a single arm stretch on McQuest. Just one fall decides this contest. And of course, the Mike Marino, Bruno Elrington, and Bon Chesloff contest to follow on this program. And Myers caught in the body scissors then. But he undresses it by bringing Mikwes' feet down behind. No! Ask him! 
Well, there's a double leg lock for you. Stalemate. Very little anybody can do once they're in that position. They can't turn face up again, so they nearly always uh, decide to call it quits. A couple of minutes left in this third round. Myers is starting to take over with his speed now. Still holding on despite that. Ah, uh, finally, the quest rolls up. The speed of that head man is what the quest is up against. One minute left. And West just laid it quicker than he was that time. Nice little trip to follow. Leg lock no, 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 no. folded there by West. And no, the advantage to McWest. No. A little unusual in these last no. round or so. No. That didn't last too long anyway. Three, three, four, five. And the single end lock with half a minute left. Myers again taking the advantage from it, going for the double arm from the back. No suplex position yet though. Twelve seconds to go. Shoulder base must be very near, yes they're on. And West rolls himself on a ball. And the bell of Ron. Clive Myers, West Indies, 11 and a half stone of him, right slap in the middle of the uh, world weight bracket, and of course the West Indies world weight champion. The physical culturist who runs his own self defense club in Peckham and turned pro wrestler in the 1971, but only part-time. Freelance photographer as well, this man. He really gets around, doesn't hang about at all. Get back to your corner. Stay there. Second out, round four. Round four, and West <laughs> saw that coming. Myers came racing across at him at the bell. And Clive Myers versus Mick West, no score, one fall to decide this one, and it's Myers and the Union Jack Trunks with the full notes on Mick West of Clapham. And West doing very well to stay this long with Myers so far. The ropes helped him then. from Mick West this time, but broken easily. Oh, the drop kick kept backwards a little bit low, but it didn't, work, didn't worry him too much, fortunately, it was on the knees. And there's the much tattooed Mick West, trying so hard to stay with his agile footman from Jamaica. And doing very well. To have stayed this long. Oh, yes, nice over the top of Miles, double leg Nelson, couldn't mess with that one. Couldn't mess, it was all over before he came off the ropes. So Miles, the winner by one for the nil, sportingly taken by Mick West, who realized he was up against a better man on the day. Ladies and gentlemen, in round four, the one four required for victory with the double leg Nelson to Clive Myers.